guys, SilverPlayer22 here, bringing you another informed Silver Player review. Today, we're going to be looking at Roland Alberg from the MLS. Uh, but before we get into that, thank you for the support on the uh, second channel. It's doing, you know, quite well. We've got, you know, over 50 subscribers in just under a day, which is wicked. Uh, if you haven't already gone and checked it out, definitely go and check it out. I'm going to leave a link in the description below, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the video that will be up later. So that'll be at the end of the video as well. Uh, so, yeah, the MLS is quite hot at the minute. It's uh, obviously with the MLS Cup coming up, the MLS sort of team of the season. I think it's called MLS All-Stars coming out soon you know to me you want to be picking up decent informs that are cheap at the moment because they are going to skyrocket in price as they do every single year does roland alberg fit into that well possibly we'll find out in the video this guy has 75 pace 74 dribbling 80 shooting 75 passing 70 physical he's 5 foot 11 only two star skill moves got three three star uh Sorry, only three star skill moves, only two star weak foot. Picked him up for 14k ish, and that's kind of where he's going for at the moment. But he ha I have seen him sort of go extinct for a few minutes and go for a little bit more. So pick one up if you see him for cheap. Uh, his his in game stats, to be honest, uh, mental and physical, as well as his skill attributes, are incredibly well rounded. Like, look at all those greens on his skill attributes. He's got 89 shot power, 82 long shots, 90 penalties out of somewhere. Let me know in the comments below. Why has he got 90 penalties? He is he super consistent with his penalties or something like that? Medium, medium work rates. He plays as cam, left wing, or right wing, but his, his default in form is a CDM. And I, I wouldn't recommend playing him as a CDM, to be honest. I, I think cam, centre mid, or maybe even pushing centre forward. That's where I played him a little bit. Are probably his positions. Now I'm going to go ahead and say straight away, his finishing in the box is a little bit inconsistent. And his, his sort of, his reactions aren't the greatest. Um, it, it, pff, other than that, I mean, would I say I like this guy? No, to be honest, I probably wouldn't say I like him. I would say that I absolutely love this guy. He is so good. I can't even describe it. He has got amazing shot power. I'm talking some of the most powerful shots I have used on FIFA this year. He absolutely smashes the ball. It, it can be a little bit of a hindrance when you're in the box in that his, his accuracy isn't great. But if you're going to be hitting it in the box and he gets it on target, the keeper isn't stopping it. It's as simple as that. It, you know, if it hits him, it's going to kill him. He is so powerful. Powerful. He's so like well-rounded as a player. Like you, I wouldn't play him CDM as I say, but he'd do a job there. Centre mid, he can ping the balls around. He can play, you know, in a wide centre centre uh, centre attacking position, like you know. 4-2-2-2 cam position he could get the crosses in he's got incredible incredible long shots super well-rounded player actually feels really strong i think he's got about 75 strength in game uh, dribbling's pretty solid you know you can do the strength dribble no problem at all good range of passing makes amazing runs that is so good his positioning is phenomenal if you want to play him in center mid he'll stick in the middle and he'll do a job for you there if you want to play him in a more attacking role he'll make amazing runs for you not the quickest not the greatest at defending but overall, this card is super, super good. I would say a fair price for him would be out 20 to 40k, but I could see it going for more during the MLS period. Um, I, I would say this guy is a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. I actually had him as a 9 originally. The only reason I dropped him down a little bit is just because he comes out as a CDM. Like, what that, what's that about? But overall, there's barely anything I can complain about in this card. He really feels like he'd fit into a decent gold side, and that's why I've given him a 78 to an 81. Absolutely love this card. Can't recommend him enough. And guys, if you haven't already checked out, as I said before, for the Silver Plate Prism channel. Uh, the second video is just going online today. It'll be out by the time this video is out, and it's going to be a Poland squad builder of Rainbow Nations. So what it is is we use loads of different cards. We use some bronzes, some silvers, some golds, some informs, some team of the seasons. Any card is is you know available for usage in this squad in this uh, series. I'd love you to go and check it out. As I said, I'll leave the link in the description below, and just continue supporting the channel if you're interested in other stuff. Just you know, other than such silvers. And yeah, I might put some other things on there. I might even put some other games on there if that's what you guys are interested in me doing. Do you want me to commentate on some other games? Let, let me know. Uh, and anyway, guys, for end chat today, what FIFA have you played the most? I think my FIFA that I've probably played the most, probably, uh, probably maybe... 12 onwards i really can't say other than that i played you know earlier ones but fifa 11 12 and 13 i was really into pro clubs and me and my friends played it obsessively so i'd say that was probably the one we played the most anyway guys if you've enjoyed this video like comment subscribe don't forget to check out the second channel and thanks for watching cheers guys